it's so quiet here. I'm at North County Airport. So quiet. We're out in the middle of nowhere. Missing. Temperature 25 Celsius. 2.24 Celsius. Altimeter 2 Niner Niner 7. Remarks. Density altitude 1200. Test the emags. It's pretty, pretty nice setup. So that the emags, you flip it off like this, and you should see your drop. Okay, and then you touch these, and they take the uh, they take the electricity away from the emag, so that it just proves that it's generating all its own electricity. There's your drop. This says it's producing its own. And that's back up again. Then we cycle the prop. Everything else is good. Okay, if you're ready, I'm going to close that. I am ready. And she flies. Flaps coming up. Fifty-five percent power. I usually cruise 145 knots. His little wings. <laughs> His little candy bars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is an Avidyne. It's Advanced. Oh, okay. Advanced was its own separate company, and then Dynon purchased them. So now Dynon owns Advanced and um, and the regular Dynon. But all of these are individual. Like this, even though they talk to each other, they get the same information. Okay. If this one went out on us, that one would still run. And if that one went out on us, this one would still run. And um, and they all have battery backup also. So even if we lost power, if the alternator went out, 
right here, the alternator went out, these would all run for about two hours. And we're, we're climbing at 103. Okay. True air, true air speeds actually, we're climbing at 113. And, and we're cruising at 122, but once we level out, this will we'll come be, on up. The, the ground will come up. Yeah. There we go, we're starting to level out. I can bring the prop back a little bit. We're cooking along pretty good, 160 knots. Yeah, the, the air in this plane, um, especially at altitude, where it was like 51 degrees, it was nice. I'd shut this one all the way and I'd leave that one kind of open. Sometimes I'd have to close it some. But it was uh, like having nice air conditioning. I'm going to start a little uh, descent here. Oh, okay. So we'll hit our altitude. And let's just go ahead and get down to pattern altitude. I've never come here for breakfast. Have you? Um, the restaurant's new. They got a little bakery there. Laval traffic, experimental RV is seven miles east of the field inbound for landing on 1-4. I've been flying it all by myself. I haven't had a little extra weight. Not that you weigh anything, but it's like, hey, yeah. plane feels slightly, you slightly different. Got the fatty different. in here. No, not at all. Minimums. The Bell Traffic Experimental RV turning left base. One for LaBelle. Altitude. LaBelle traffic, experimental RV, turn final one four. Short build. Little squeaker. All right, get a hold of the little brake. Turn the fuel pump off. Timer. <laughs> little timer thing you heard was it just saying, uh, "Hey, put the uh, flip the uh, fuel over to the other tank." Oh, that's nice. It's audible. That was uneventful, huh? No, oh, that was nice. Yeah. And here we are. That's us. On runway. Pick a calm day. Pipistrelle over there, I think. Oh, yeah. Those wings are long. It's a glider. Lavelle Traffic Experimental RV 510 Whiskey Mike taking uh, active run, runway 14 and departing the field to the east. Lavelle Traffic, Cessna 42 Charlie departing runway 14. We'll be uh, turning out to the northeast, Lavelle. Bahogi traffic wise down 4,500 feet, 5 miles to the west. We're going to be holding off the forward Bahogi VOR 4,500 Bahogi. Experimental RV 510 Whiskey Mike, last call, LaBelle. So I put us in for uh, 5,500. Okay. We're going up through a little bit of fluffy stuff. Yeah, but it's nice. Visibility is nice. A little yeah, haze, it's good. but. You want to go ahead and uh, feel it climb? My controls. Let's, let's line those air, line that back up. So let's go just a little bit. Then mid turn, north west bound, north east traffic. That's pretty good. You were. You were at about a 50 That's degree at the down. end. Oh, we got two people on practice approach for nine right. Oh, thank you very much. I'll use two seven. Oops. 
Now Where's my, I can't tell where. Right here, you're okay. at sta standard, standard rate for this speed at the moment. Yeah. Oh, and the next after yeah. that's going to be 45. See the yellow, the yellow. We'll turn back towards the ICBO, and we'll go procedure and select approach. And we'll use the uh, RNAV for run, runway 19 or 09. And we'll go, uh, let's go Yigbo. Let's go Yigbo. And we're going to make a turn. Whee! Okay, so then let's go altitude and let's go to okay, Yigbo. Is 2,500. Uh, 45 for downwind for 27, full stop North County. So now we're heading to Yigbo if we look here. Yeah, it's real responsive. It's it's smooth flying. Of course we don't have any turbulence today either. Yeah. To experience, but Yeah, it's pretty nice. What a nice flying day. And now we'll descend on down. We're supposed to be down at two thousand five hundred for Yigbo. Okay, now we have Yigbo coming up in a straight line to the airport right over there is the runway. And that should take care of Yigbo with a little bit of push the button. There we go, now it'll do a little bit of a lineup on its own. Come on, not too much. <laughs> okay, so Don't overshoot it, now it's going to straighten back out. Aviation Airport, automated weather observation. One, four, three, six, Zulu, weather. Wind, one, eight, zero, at five. Visibility, more one, than eight, zero. One. Eight. Density altitude, two, thousand. South Sky Experimental RV, five, one, zero, whiskey mic at five miles west of the field, inbound for landing on nine right. Okay, experimental RV, short final, nine or right, full stop. There's a little bit of bounce. Boo! Good job. He's bound to the shore. You got those little wings. Diamond would not go in here. <laughs>